Hello booktube, I'm Jonathan and welcome to Words in Time. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about Chasm City by Alistair Reynolds. Now previously the only thing I'd read by Alistair Reynolds was House of Sons, which I absolutely loved. And Chasm City is a prequel to Revelation Space. It is set within the Revelation Space universe, but it can be read as a standalone. So I thought I would check out this one, and if I enjoyed it, I'd dive into the Revelation Space series. So what is the premise for Chasm City? Well, we follow our main character, Tana Mirabel, on a hunt for revenge, as he hunts down a killer called Ryvik. And this hunt takes him to Chasm City which used to be a very advanced city, but due to the nature of sub-light speed space travel, by the time Tana gets there, the city has devolved into chaos, in part due to a nanotech virus called the Melding Plague. Now, this book follows three storylines, three timelines, the first one which I described, and then a second one which follows a character called Sky Houseman and he would go on to be loved or hated by many, and he was the founder of a colony planet called Sky's Edge. And we learn about Sky through these religious visions that Tanner experiences as a result of being infected with something called the indoctrination virus. And the third and final timeline that we follow is flashbacks from Tanner as he relives the events that led to him wanting to get revenge on Ryvik. So, if that sounds like a lot, it is. If you're a little bit confused, that's okay. Halfway through this book, I was a little bit confused as well. But don't worry, we'll get there in the end. It'll all make sense. So, digging into the writing a little bit, the, the tone and the world building within Chasm City, this is a bit of a, a mix of a noir detective story with some grungy cyberpunk and some space opera in there as well. So there's a lot going on. There's a good mix of genres. Any of those might appeal to you. And the world that Alistair Reynolds creates is quite dark. As you can see, it's upsetting my dog, Charlie. She, she might not be into such a dark tone as Alistair Reynolds, but he paints a bit of a dark world. And it's full of quite cynical characters. Uh, including, we have some uh, p characters like drug dealers and, and people that operate this uh, running man style human hunting game. So that's the kind of world that we're living in. And I think this is a very rich setting. It's, uh, we get very detailed descriptions of the culture, the technology, the aesthetic of Chasm City. Um, in a way, almost the best character in the book is actually Chasm City. So talking about some of the other characters, I felt like all the characters were fairly distinct. I was able to separate them out from each other. They all had some uh, interesting personality traits, but I wasn't always clear on their motivations. I think some of those were cleared up by the end of the book, some not as much. So that was just my take on being able to get invested in the characters in a way in terms of caring what they wanted and, and plan to do next. In terms of the writing itself, I felt like the prose and the dialogue were definitely solid. Uh, it was never the thing that I was enjoying most about the book. I wasn't going back to, to reread certain sentences or passages or anything like that, but it never detracted from the story either. It, it always helped uh, move the story along, move the ideas along, which I think is definitely the focus of Chasm City. So in terms of some of those themes, one of which is definitely memory. So this book explores memory in the way that it examines how memory can be reliable or unreliable. And when we start to mess with memory, when we have the ability to change memories, how exactly does that affect a person, both in the way that they choose to act and how we identify? What is our personality? What is our identity? Well, what does it mean to be me when my memories change? So I thought that was, I thought that was quite deep. There was, there was a lot to explore uh, with memory in Chasm City. And we also have technology. So this is pretty hard sci-fi. Some of the technology in this is really, really cool. Um, if you're into that, there's a lot to uh, explore within Chasm City. But I also liked how Alistair Reynolds showed how 
Technology can be also used to hurt people, to oppress people, to deceive people. And it, it demonstrates how a society can become not only dependent upon technology, but also corrupted by it. So I liked, I liked the different angles uh, of the futuristic technology that Alistair Reynolds explored. So overall, my thoughts on the book were that, or my feelings on it, were that in the first half, there was a lot to explore, but I, I didn't feel personally hooked. I didn't quite feel connected to it. But in the second half, the book takes a real shift and it grabbed me. I was definitely, I was definitely started to flip through the pages. We love flipping through pages. It's around a 600 page book. In, in the back half, I was definitely starting to turn the pages a bit quicker. And towards the end, there's some pretty massive reveals, some real jaw droppers, uh, which I thought were quite clever. You might see them coming. I didn't see some of those twists coming. Um, and there were some pretty satisfying confrontations, although I think those could have been elevated, could have been even more exciting, perhaps with some bit better action, or maybe if I was a little bit more personally invested, emotionally invested in those characters, those good moments could have landed even harder and have been great moments. But some pretty minor criticisms um, of the ending there. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed it. Putting all of that together into a score, I'm giving Chasm City an 8 out of 10. A really solid score, definitely enjoyed it. Uh, you'll have to stay tuned for my House of Suns review to learn whether I enjoyed it even more than this one, but definitely a good introduction to the Revelation Space Universe. I will be checking it out and let me know if you've read it, if you think how that might have changed the experience of reading Chasm City, because I felt like I was able to pick up the universe. I didn't feel lost. It didn't feel like it was referring to things that I was supposed to understand, but didn't because I hadn't read the series. So I feel like you can read this as a standalone, but it'll be interesting to hear the perspective of someone that's read the series. So uh, there you go, guys. Alistair Reynolds, big fan. Get in the comments. Let me know whether you've read him or, or are interested in picking it up based on the review. And as always, I really appreciate you watching more sci-fi book reviews, lists, tier rankings, book tags, all that good stuff coming soon.